Today, I'm gonna to show you how to change the spark plugs on a VAWX. That's the 2015 to 2021 model years. It's pretty simple and you'll just need some basic tools. Subaru recommends that you do the service every 60,000 miles. I've heard dealers charging over $400 for the service, so you can save yourself some money if you're willing to get your hands a little dirty. I highly recommend getting the OEM spark plugs. I just picked up four from Subaru. They are NGK Iridium spark plugs. I'll list the part number on the screen. I got them for $35 a pop. You can probably find them for a little cheaper online or you can try different dealerships. On the screen, I'm gonna list the tools that I use for this. You can pause it if you need to write them down. You can get away with a normal 14 millimeter or 916 deep socket, but a spark plug socket will make things a lot easier. I have my 916 spark plug socket here. What makes it better is there's a small rubber gasket inside that will grip onto the spark plug itself. This makes it a lot easier when removing and you don't have to worry about the spark plug accidentally slipping out when you're installing it. These spark plugs come pre-gapped if you get them from Subaru. Not 100% sure about other vendors. So I'd recommend getting a spark plug gap tool, just like this one right here, just to double check. With this tool, you just slide the thinnest section between the two electrodes and start rotating it through the thicker sections until it stops. Once it stops, you just check the number at the top and that's gonna tell you what your gap is. The VAWX OEM spark plug should be gapped to 0.020 to 0.022. So this tool actually starts from 0.020 and then goes all the way to 0.1. So basically between the first three lines, that's roughly where your gap should be on your spark plug, at least with this guy. Okay, so I first worked on the driver's side plugs you'll want to disconnect the battery and completely remove it along with the battery tray because it's in the way. The two spark plugs are gonna be down there. As you can see, I've removed the battery and tray from this area. And here are the two ignition coil packs. They're being held in place by 10 millimeter bolts. So remove them and then pull out the coils. So I've already pulled out the coil packs. It's tight down there, so the bolts are a little tough to remove. I had to use two 10 millimeter ratchets. I have a small one here, but I didn't have enough leverage to break the bolts loose. So I have this medium sized one as well. It's a pass through socket, so it fits perfectly in there in tight spaces. I also put a yellow rag here to prevent the coil packs from falling through a gap here. And now you can get your spark plug socket and stick it in there to remove the spark plug. Here you can see I had to use a bunch of extensions, including a swivel socket to get a good angle on the plug. And here I have a new and old spark plug. The new one is nice and shiny. The old one is dirty, but there's no oil, which is good. And it doesn't look too bad. After hand tightening the spark plugs, this is the setup I had to use to torque them down. I used a mixture of extensions and my swivel socket. The spark plugs get tightened to 12.9 foot pounds and the coil pack bolts get tied into 6.3 foot pounds, or you could just do it firmly by hand. All right, and then once you have the spark plugs and coils torqued down, you can reinstall the battery and you're gonna move over to the passenger side plugs. So to gain access to these plugs, I had to remove the snorkel, intake box, undo this section of the charge pipe to rotate it out of the way, and then rotate the ECU out of the way as well. If you have a stock intercooler and charge pipe, you don't need to remove this section. I have the Process West Verticooler, and as you can see, the charge pipe is pretty thick. And then this prevents me from getting the ECU rotated out of the way, because basically what you'd have to do is shift the ECU this way and then up. Not much space. The ECU has two 10 millimeter nuts on the side. Let's see if I can point them out. They're right down there. And then you'll also need to undo the frontmost bolt up top, so this guy. I believe this is a 10 or a 12 millimeter. And then once that's done, you can push the top of the ECU towards the middle of the car, and then you just push up and then rotate it out of the way. And then the two spark plugs you'll see are right down there. Here are the passenger side plugs. And here I have the charge pipe moved out of the way. From here, I just lift the ECU out of the way and then do the same thing I did on the driver's side. And there you have it. Now you know how to change the spark plugs on your WRX. If this video helped you out, give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more Subaru WRX content. See you in the next video.